gentlemen, welcome to Mrs. Brown's boy. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. Right there she is. <clears throat> She's all yours. Welcome to the new Acme Turbo 2000 Christmas tree. Huh. The last tree you'll ever have to buy. Well, what do I have to do? Well, to decorate it, just press that button there. Huh? Oh! <laughs> There's no more going around the tree looking for a branch. The branches come to you and... Well, do you ever have trouble putting the star at the top of the tree? Sometimes. Well, never again, missus. Just press that button there. Oh! Voila! Right, well, I'll leave you with it, so. Merry Christmas, missus. Merry Christmas, son. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Did you want to say something, love? What? Yeah, you see? You've got a speaking part now. They have to pay you extra. <laughs> Merry Christmas, son. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. No more acrobatics for me with the tree. <laughs> Grandad! Grandad, look! I have a tree that moves. More than you, Buck and do. You here, Ma? I'm here, love. I'll be in a second. Put the kettle on. Don't put your fucking hand on that. <laughs> what are we going to do, Mark? Don't worry. Mammy will get it out of him. Hello, little man. Hey, Granny. Oh, Bono, you look very sad. What's wrong? Mommy and Daddy are mad at me. Why? He wrote his letter to Santa and posted it. Good boy. But now he won't tell us what's in it. Well, that's private between him and Santa. <laughs> See? But Bono, we want to get you a present for Christmas. What if we get him the same thing he asked Santa for? You won't. Santa knows things that parents don't know. Am I right, Bono? Aye. See, Mommy? Granny knows everything. Oh, stop it. Well, <laughs> Bono, go wait in the car. Mrs. Brown, I wish you wouldn't always agree with him. Now he'll never tell us. Ulster says no. <laughs> Don't mind, Betty Ma. I know you have a plan to find out what's in Bono's letter. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. Son, you look like you're having a shit down someone's chimney. Come here, Mammy. Get your feet off the table. Cameron, <laughs> oh. <laughs> would you like a cup of tea? No, Mammy. Listen, Buster has a great idea. Oh, that'll be a first. What is it? Crackers, Mrs. Brown. Christmas crackers. You're too late, son. They've already been invented. <laughs> Not like this. Jesus, that's a big one. <laughs> Where'd I hear that before? Pull it. <laughs> I haven't heard that for a long time. Oh! Oh, that's a big prize for a cracker. They have no boxes, but if I wrapped them and sold them as luxury crackers, then they wouldn't need a box. They'll do great. It's not your worst idea, Buster. But, but you'd have to get them to crack like a cracker. I mean, that just went... <laughs> I'm working on it, Mrs. Brown. A step at a time. I don't want to come too successful too soon. <laughs> I don't think there's any danger of that. <laughs> this is Christmas season, so there isn't any reason. And then the Christmas This is season holiday, and we're so glad. Christmas trees and holly, everyone so jolly, dancing the Christmas polka. <laughs> Hello, Dermot, son. Jeez, you must be melting in there. Yeah. <sighs> Do you want a cup of tea, son? No, Mammy. Just need the loo. Oh, you're very chirpy. Well, Christmas is in the air. <laughs> Here, don't you leave that toilet full of feckin' ice cubes. <laughs> 
Mr. Money, do you think, uh, you know the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? <laughs> Snowballs. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Hello, Winnie. Agnes, have you got a cure for hiccups? Oh, yes. If you... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what should you do that for? Well, you don't have hiccups now. I didn't have hiccups. Shatton has them. For feck's sake. You've made me wet myself. Where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yes. It's for Sunday night. See, it was Cathy's idea, you know. She said that everyone is so busy at Christmas, why don't we have a Christmas night for family and friends before Christmas? So we're having it on Sunday night. I can't wait for it. Hello, son, I'm just saying I'm looking forward to Sunday night. It'll be a fun night. Yeah. I hope you don't mind, but Maria told her mammy she could come along. Hurdley. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Here goes the fucking fun night. I like Maria's mother. She says I'm amazing to have turned out so well, considering. Considering what? Considering... Daddy dying when I was so young. You just fake and of that now, didn't you? Didn't I? Hey, Dermo. Hello, Mrs. Brill. Huh? All right, Buster. What's the crack with the Christmas crackers? Are they cracking you? Cos I'll tell you now, if they don't crack like a cracker should crack, you'll be getting your crackers back. I think I have it cracked. <laughs> I'm using gunpowder from fireworks to make the crackers crack. What could go wrong? I have one done, Dermot. It's in the car. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll follow you. So it's okay, Mrs. Nicholson, come on then. Hurdley is welcome. It is the season of goodwill. And she can join in all the family parlor games. Yeah. Eh, uh, Mammy. On Sunday night. No trivial pursuit. Why not? Because it always ends in a fight. And I want this to be a peaceful Christmas party. End of story. But it'll be fun. What's fun? Trivial pursuit. Ah, oh, Jesus, no. It's only a game. Not when you play it, Mummy. Last year, Dino had to have counselling. <laughs> That's right. There was some terrible row about... What was it? I can't remember. A hot air balloon or something. Zeppelin. It was a Zeppelin. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. It does matter, Cathy. There's a huge difference between a Zeppelin and a hot air balloon. You must go with the answer that's on the card. <laughs> Calm down, Mammy. Rory's right. No trivial pursuit. Oh, Mammy, me and Dean will be late getting here on Sunday night. We've a stag do to go to. <laughs> Alan and Carl are getting married on New Year's Day. Oh. Happy Christmas, Demo! <laughs> I'll get your head. <laughs> I think it's... I think it's a little bit too much powder. An exploding cracker. It must be the Christmas episode. <laughs> My cat can say her own name. It's because you called her Meow. Why do they always have Christmas at a time when the shops are so busy? Yeah, it's terrible. Did you get me card yet? What card? Me Christmas card. I posted it to you four days ago. Winnie, you only live next door. I know. It should have arrived by now. <laughs> no, I mean, you could have just handed it to me. Ah, uh, no, Agnes. It's really special getting a card in the post. I think it feels cheap if somebody just hands it to you without bothering to put a stamp on or nothing. Here's a card. <laughs> Thanks. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, girls. Oh, Mrs. Brown, thank you for inviting my mother to your party. Don't mention it. It was really kind of you. No, don't mention it. She's very excited. Seriously, don't fucking mention it. <laughs> I'm trying to forget she's coming. Watch this for a laugh. Hiya, Betty, love. Hiya, Mrs. Brown. Oh, Betty, just to let you know, I spoke to Bono. I found out what he wants for Christmas. Really? Mm. What? A snake. A snake? One of them python things. Oh, God, I can't bear snakes. 
Well, he told Santa that his little heart would break if he didn't get one. Oh, my God, I can't break his little heart. You'd be fine, Betty. Yes. Uh, they're really easy to care for. Yes. You only have to feed them once a week. A live mouse. A talking pussy. <laughs> a python. Oh, why does he want a python? He said because his daddy has one. Mark? He must have overheard you saying, that's a big python, Mark. I never said... Oh, shut up! <laughs> Someone comes at my pussy with a snake. It'll be swallowed whole. <laughs> my mother used to say, Buster, if you're not good, Santa won't come. It just didn't seem worthwhile changing my whole lifestyle for a yo yo and an apple. Yes, well, I tried to concentrate more on the religious side of the season. Uh, I used to too. I prayed one year for a bike. God doesn't work like that. I know. So I robbed the bike and then I asked God for forgiveness. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you want a hand, Agnes? It's going very well, Winnie. Oh, it's great. Where's Rory? He's at a stag party. Him and Dean will be joining us later. Oh. Now, Hidley. Mm. Some petty fools? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. I'm afraid I've nearly eaten all of Grandad's peanuts. I hope he won't mind. Well, he will be a bit annoyed. <laughs> it took him the whole day to suck all the chocolate off them. <laughs> what about some family games? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> we could play Trivial Pursuits. No! Yes! No. <laughs> what about charades? Yes! yes. Let me see. OK. Oh. Film. Four words. Silent. Hush. Finger. Quiet. Finger. Peaceful. Silence. Silence of the lambs. Fourth word, one syllable. Silence of the lambs. Legs. Knees. Limbs? Silence of the limb! Well done, you got it right, Miss Nicholson. Silence of the limbs. Well done indeed, Mrs. Nicholson. Brilliant. Hold on a fucking minute. <laughs> There's no such film. It's silence of the lambs. Well, it says here on the card, silence of the limbs mm -hmm. with Anthony Hopkins. I never heard of that one. Me neither. Hold on a cotton fucking minute. <laughs> The reason Betty never heard of it before is because it doesn't exist. Calm down, Mummy. One point to me. Yeah. Yeah. Do not give her a point. <laughs> she didn't get it. Where did we get this Mummy, fucking... it's only a game. Where did we get this fucking game? I got them done up last year. Sold like hotcakes. <laughs> Film and a book about a great white shark. Jews. <laughs> Musical, one word, Oklahoma. <laughs> this game, one word, one syllable, comes out your ass. Shite. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Let's play something else. Mm -hmm. I spy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good idea. Mum, you go first. You won the last one. She <laughs> didn't win the fucking last one. She got silence of the limbs. It wasn't silence of the... Will you just let Hillary go first? <laughs> Fine. I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. Phone. No. Photograph. No. Photo frame. That's two Fs. No. Second Egypt. No. Furniture. No. Floor? No. Food? No. Feet? No. Fist? <laughs> no. Flies. Grandad's flies open. <laughs> no. Flagpole. Grandad's flies open. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you give up? Yeah. yeah. France. <laughs> I spy. <laughs> Something you can see. I was seeing it in my mind's eye. I'm going to fucking kill her. <laughs> Mummy, it does 
doesn't matter. It's only a bit of fun. Look, we have to play these things by the rules. Whatever we play next, we play by the feckin' rules. There must be something we can play that won't cause trouble. Kickboxing. <laughs> I have an idea. I think it was Cornell Mustard in the dining room with the lead pipe. No, you're wrong, Buster. How do you know? We're playing Monopoly. <laughs> right, Mammy. Your go, you're the iron. Of course I'm the iron. Story of me fickin' life. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, 200 pounds, please, Pasco. Thank you. Five, six, seven, eight. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Pay income tax, 200 pounds. <laughs> fickin' stupid game. Actually, it's a very realistic game. Mummy, it's your go. Oh. Oh, Maria, darling, could you move my ship? Oh, she has a ship. I have an iron. <laughs> Mayfair. I'll buy that. How much? 400 pounds, please. Oh. Jolly good. I've got the full set now. <laughs> Jolly good. I got the full set. <laughs> Mommy. Well, it's not fair. She's got the Mayfair set, the Piccadilly set, the Vine Street set, and I'm on my own in the old Kent Road. <laughs> Chance. I suppose I'm simply more skillful than you at assembling a property portfolio, Agnes. A cheating. <laughs> Pay hospital £100. She'll need a booking hospital in a few minutes. <laughs> Maria? Oh, dear. Vine Street. And it has a hotel on it. That's £1,000, I'm afraid, darling. I only have 500 But that's you busted, Maria. It's OK. She can owe me the rest. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. You're a go, Buster. I'm in jail. <laughs> Hold on one cotton booking minute. <laughs> She can't owe you the rest. Yes, she can. No, she fucking can't. Yes, she flipping can. It's only a game. If you're going to play a game, you must play within the rules. Dermot, back me up on this, son. I'm your mother. And I'm your wife. Uh, do you want to see your wife, mother of your three babies, bankrupt? <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> Fine. My go. Oh, look. <laughs> I'll have uh, five hotels on the old Kent Road, please. Thank you. You can't have five hotels. Why not? Well, because it's against the rules. Oh, but there is no rules. Thank you very much. I threw a double. I'll go again. Oh, now four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Chance. But you threw ten. I don't care. I'm taking fucking four. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Earthquake in London. Everything destroyed except the old Kent Road. <laughs> Oh, come on, Rory. No, I feel stupid. You should have read the invitation properly. It said dress fancy. <laughs> I thought it said fancy dress. <laughs> What's up? Mammy threw a wobbly over the games. Oh, no. Come on, everybody, it's Christmas time. Cheer up. Let's play charades. No, we tried it. I'll oh, stop this now. We all have to make an effort, eh? Mrs. Brown, turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Pick a window, son. You're fucking leaving. How's it going today, Mrs. Brown? Hostess in jail, Maria's broke, and Hillary is a pain in the arse. <laughs> Well, at least I'm in profit. And with the current climate in the property market, that's very good. <laughs> Dino's right, both of you. Mother, you need to make an effort too. Here, Grandad, why don't you have a go at doing a charade? I've got one for you, Grandad. Film. Three words. A film with three words. The last word. Well, do something else. Is it a comedy? The love story? Heart. Heart to heart. Yeah. Oh, no, that's in the telly. Heart to heart is close. Stab. Attack. Attack? Attack of the clones? Is it a sci fi? Oh, no, he's back to love. Heart. Attack? Attack of the heart. Heart attack? No, there's no such film as fucking heart attack. <laughs> no, no, he's having a heart attack. Jesus. Get his pills, for God's sake. A night in the Love Hotel. <laughs> Grand.
Grandad's fine. It was just his angina. He's resting. He'll be grand in the morning. Did he say what films was? <sighs> no. <laughs> Mummy, some of your lights are not working on the tree. Uh, I'll get to me before I go to bed. Why do we do this, Mummy? Do what? Every year we end up having some stupid row. Why can't we just be like a normal family? We are just like a normal family, Cathy. That's what families do at Christmas. They row. Families get together every Christmas just to remind themselves why they only get together once a year. A mummy truth. Exactly. Good night, mummy. <laughs> Good night, love. Oh. Uh, realistic game. Look at this one, says. Bank pays dividend. Hmm. Not in this book and country. <laughs> Bedtime. Oh, the freaking lights. Ah, oh. Ah, oh. Ah, oh. That's the one. just started bucking like a rodeo bull. Buck a rodeo? <laughs> it was Grandad. You bastard! That must have been awful. Uh, there was, well, there was moments in it that were, you know... It, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Buster, do sit down. <laughs> what do you want? I was coming home from the police station and I got thinking. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What were you doing in the police station? It's Christmas. <laughs> they invite me up every Christmas for a drink, just to say thanks for all the overtime. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> and I had an idea of how to find out what's in Bono's letter to Santa. Well, is it? But Bono's staying here tonight, right? Yes. Well, what have I arranged for a Santa to come here and ask Bono what was in his letter? That's not a bad idea, Agnes. It's worth a try, Buster. Roy, I'll get the chains in motion. <laughs> it's wheels. Yeah. Chains and wheels. <laughs> Hi, yes. Hello, love. Are you off out, Hattie? I'm off to get Mick's Christmas present. Ah, oh, what's he getting you? I don't know. 
Well, as long as it's not a watch. No, you don't want the watch. No. Why not? Oh, if you get the watch, you're getting dumped. <laughs> ah, mommy. She's getting dumped. <laughs> Agnes, are we going to exchange presents this year? Of course, I exchange yours every year. <laughs> right, I'm going, love. See you later. Oh, how are you? Hi, Winnie. Oh, hello, Winnie. Uh, hello, little man. Well, Bono, are you looking forward to your sleepover? I brought my Coran pens and my pyjamas. Good boy. Now, listen, go and put your pyjamas up in the bedroom, and with your Coran pens later on, I'll let you colour in Grandad. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Brown, please try and find out what's in that letter. We're certainly panicked now. Betty, believe it or not, I have a plan in operation already. I should know by tomorrow. Right, well, thanks for the sleepover. He's been looking forward to it all week. No, not as much as I have. <laughs> you be good for Granny now. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you, love. Bono, I've been thinking about this letter of yours to Santa. Yes, what about it? I think I could guess what was in it. You won't. I think I will. Will you give me three chances? Go on. OK. Um, a bike. Already have one. A Batman outfit. Nope. An iPad. That's way too much. Yeah, it is. OK, I give up. What is it? <laughs> but uh, why are you intend on keeping this such a secret? Because I want to check. Check what? If Santa Claus is real. Oh. He is. I saw him. Really? Yes. When I was a little girl, I was in bed and I heard a noise downstairs. So I went to the top of the stairs and I looked down. And there he was, Santa Claus, standing by the Christmas tree. And my mammy was there and she was laughing and hugging him. That was probably your daddy dressed up. No, it wasn't, because my daddy came in the door just then. <laughs> well, we never saw my Uncle Frank again. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? If that's your plan, I don't want to know what's in your letter. You keep it between you and Santa. Right. Would you like a Guinness? Just one. I'm driving. <laughs> Hello, Bono. Oh, hello, Santa Claus. What are you doing here three days early? I wanted to talk to Bono. Now, Bono, you sent me a letter. Yes, I did. Well, something's happened to it, so I can't read what you asked for. Oh, dear. What will we do about that? Why don't you come over here and tell Santa? Yes, and that, that way Santa will know what a good boy you've been all year. Hey! <laughs> shush! <laughs> Mrs. Brown, this stuff is private. <laughs> I get your water for you, Bono. Now. I know you've been a very good boy. I tell you, Buster doesn't have many good ideas, but this is one of his best. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Buster, for feck's sake! What are you doing here? Do you want to blow the whole feckin' thing? Sorry. It's just a surprise to hear you saying something nice about me. Well, this time you deserve it, son. Right, will we get it going? What? You get Bono out of bed. Well, let's get this going. I don't know what you mean. I only have this guy for an hour or so. What? <laughs> what the f... Buster, check the tree, make sure everything's still there. <laughs> Hi, 
Hiya, Mick. Come on in. Hiya, Kathy. Kathy. Merry Christmas. <sighs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Hello, Mick. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at you. What did you get? I'll show you later. Yeah, no, Kathy, don't worry. You can show her now. I don't mind. <laughs> it's a watch. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> How generous. <laughs> Welcome to Dumpsville. <laughs> well, it's Christmas Eve, and as is usual in the Brown household, peace has descended. Mm -hmm. Look, I know it's been a tough year for many of you out there. It's hard to make ends meet. It's hard to get to sleep sometimes, just worrying about what tomorrow will bring. And I don't blame you, worrying. But not tonight. Tonight, take a night off. Open your heart. And let the joy of Christmas shine in. Mommy. Fuck off, Rory. I'm busy. <laughs> what was it John Wayne said in Gone With His Wind? <laughs> Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> you know, no matter how many dramas I, I'm in over Christmas, and believe me, over the years there's been many, it always amazes me that no matter how the year goes, I always look forward to Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas, it's just, well, it's magic. Oh, look, a piano. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. <laughs> From now on, our troubles will be miles away. golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us gather near to us once more through the years we all will be together if the fates allow Say hello.